think with the influence of media on the modern culture, we get our information very rarely directly from one person to another. In plays, usually, people tell each other everything. You find out all the information from one character telling another character. But that's not the way it really happens in our life. We get information from our telephone answering machines. We get them from TV. Uh, we have information coming at us from all angles and from various media. And that aspect has a, is very much reflected in the Wizard Group's work. He was the former roommate of your son, and the other one was a good friend. And the way that Liz LeConte, as a director, organizes material is sort of fragmented. Things next to one another with no transition, necessarily. Just the way that if you're sitting and watching TV in New York, if you have cable TV, you have a box next to your TV that has 39 channels, and you can sit and, and just go back and forth and click, 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 click. You're clicking into dozens of different shows which have nothing to do with one another, yet you're taking them in, you're taking little bits of information, you're extrapolating a lot from those things. Three strong views. Republican Senator Watkins of Utah heads the six-man bipartisan McCarthy censure jury. My mother used to turn on the um, McCarthy hearings. And you can imagine I was, what, six or seven years old at the time. So I would have to discover in the Army McCarthy hearings what was going on, knowing so little. At six and seven, I didn't know what was important. Senator Watkins conducts the hearings with courtroom-like decorum. But I was able to discover it by watching it slowly. And I have the same thing with the, with the cable channels, with these things that ramble on and on and seem to have no point, where I have to discover somehow the drama that's deeply hidden there. And then I like to juxtapose that Very with things like the news, like. you know, the, our network news, which goes right to it. You know, and it points only to what's important. It gives you only that. Because I never watch something through, unless it's an old movie. Sometimes I'll do that. But I always switch. I have a remote. And I just switch through and pick what I want, make my own stories up. Well, that was one of the things, I think, that was so exciting to me about theater, that I, that I didn't have to be cut off from all of the, the media that were, were, that were available to me. It's like I didn't think of media as a different thing than the theater. I thought of the television was no different than for Chekhov what opening a door and seeing imitation light was outside. The television was there all the time. It was a natural element of our environment. And it was not used, at the time it's not used in the theater. Uh, I think it is more now, but it wasn't used in the theater because people said, if you put the television in the theater, if you put a TV image in the theater, everyone will watch the TV. They won't watch the, the theater experience, which fascinated me. Why in the theater, if you brought them to the theater, would they watch the TV image and not watch the performance? <laughs>